Kyle Grimes writes, hello again, AMC crew. This has been bothering me for some time, and I find it appropriate since yesterday you talked about flops affecting actors' careers. Why do some great and already established actors choose to play such awful roles, like De Niro and Rocky and Bullwinkle, among other Ron Perlman in The Scorpion King 3, or Michael Caine in Jaws 20 or something? <laughs> do they actually believe in these films, or is it just another paycheck? Um, I... There's two answers to that question. The first answer to the question is, everybody who sets out to make a movie thinks they have the potential to make a great movie that people will love. Uh, a lot of people have this made up fairy tale in their head that, oh, that studio didn't care, care one bit about that movie, they just wanted to, no. Studios, because the better your movie is, the more money it will make. And, and studios know that, and they try. They not, may not pull the full weight of their effort behind it, but every studio, every director, whatever, sets out making their movie thinking it has the potential to be quite good and that it can be relatively successful. And I'm sure when Robert De Niro sat back and looked at Rocky and Bullwinkle, I'm sure they pitched to him as, look, this is an all-time classic property. People love Rocky and Bullwinkle. This will be like a really big smash hit. It'll catch on, it'll, it'll hit all four quadrants. People will love it, blah, blah, blah. And it turned out to be crap. Okay, that happens. I mean, look at um, uh, The Counselor. Right. Look at the acting talent they got in oh, that. that. Got together. Amazing. Look at the director we got. Look at the, the over. Look at the plot overall. And if you read a one-page plot of that movie, yeah. it reads pretty damn good. The guy who wrote No Country for Old Men wrote the screenplay. Yeah, I mean, like, this is going to be awesome. Right. Eh, and it didn't work out. So that just happens. I don't think actors choose to go into movies that are right. total crap. But what is also true is that I love the way Anthony Hopkins said it. Somebody asked him once, you know, hey, what, what made you decide to do this role? I'm an actor, and it was a job. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's their job. And you know, when you guy like Perlman, who I love Ron Perlman, but you know, he's not being offered Oscar w roles left, right, and center. He, it's acting is his job. Take, when sometimes film fans say, did it for the paycheck, like it's a bad thing. Did you not go to your job this morning for the paycheck? Really? Mm -hmm. You would have gone for free if they weren't paying you. <laughs> I mean, so, so I think it's a balance of the two. Just some actors get a little, be a little bit more picky and choosy, and some don't. Anyway, Amy Rose, how do you see it? Yeah, and a lot of the times it's, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Like, yep. if you're in this film, we'll let you do this. That, we see that a lot with directors. You make this big film, you know, Michael Bay Transformers, Pain and Gain. I mean, we see this a lot when there are contracts and partnerships in play, and they want to, you know, make their passion project, but in order to do that, they have to make a little money for the studio. So we see that happening. Is it selling out? I think you, you nailed it. I mean, it's a job. I mean, hopefully they're in a film that they believe in, and that's really good, and critical acclaimed, but a lot of the times it doesn't happen. But I don't think someone gets in a movie, like you said, and is like, this is going to suck, but I'm going to collect the money. Like, I, I think that's, that would be embarrassing anyway. Chris Lee had a great interview with uh, Christian Bale, I think, was the interview yes. did. And she, she, Christian Bale addressed that with Chris mm -hmm. Lee, and he said, look, I'm not going to do his Cockney accent. Do it. But, mm -hmm. Look, you got work. No, um, but <laughs> he talks about, look, as actors, we got work. We got, we got, we need paychecks. We need whatever. He's, and he said, you know, fortunately, right now, I'm blessed enough to be in a position where I get to pick and choose. But for the vast majority of his career, you you just get work. Yeah. And, uh, and we forget that sometimes. Anyway, Schnapp. Yeah, I mean, you guys have covered pretty much all of it. But Kyle Grimes, I will <laughs> cover this last piece for you. Um, Actors work to get well known to, you know, as, as everyone moves up the chain, so to speak. Yeah. And some actors then establish a rate. So you can get Ving Rames, you can get James Woods, you can get Christopher Walken for a very set rate. It's not your standard rate, it's a day rate. So mm -hmm. if you want to get them, you can pay them and they'll do any movie because it's a job. So yeah. a lot of, and in fact, most actors work to get to that position, to be able to get to, I'm a character actor and yeah. if you want me to play this role, this is how much I cost. That's just, it's just regular, that's a job. <laughs> a lot of other actors who, who get well known and maybe even win o Academy Awards, then they have that little extra where it's like, now I can command a little bit more money, I can kind of pick and choose my roles. Mm -hmm. And if you become a big major movie star, then all the roles come to you and you don't have to do the auditions and face all that kind of rejection, you're rejecting. So mm. it is a really, uh, it's, a, it's a process, but like any job, that's what it is. It's a job. And sometimes they just want to have fun yeah. with a character oh, yeah. role. Yeah. And just Something that have looks a good fun. Time. I just want to do it. Yeah. yeah. Why not? You Even think they... Anthony Hopkins needed to play Odin? <laughs> like, right. he didn't. But yeah. He, well, yeah, I remember Anthony Hopkins, to... we talked to him on the carpet, and he was like, I, my grandkids, grandkids just really wanted exactly. to see me in a superhero movie. So, so I said, all right, I'll yeah. do it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up 
And don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.